after all these years, he's on. and welcome to today's vlog. What you are witnessing behind me is the first time in Andy's 15 years of life that his feet have connected with London soil um, or specifically a car park in London. London. We'll talk more when we get outside. I just thought that was a momentous moment. There you go, you should be able to see and hear me a little bit better now. So this vlog is a continuation of yesterday's video. If you haven't seen yet, yesterday we went to Legoland, or for us earlier today we went to Legoland. That's a video worth watching. But the night before we went to Legoland, Andy, just in a throwaway comment, <laughs> mentioned to Anna, go to Legoland then go to the London Eye. Now, those of you who've been watching for a while will know we've been trying to convince Andy to come to London for years. He's never been here. He's 15 years old. He has never been to London before. So the moment he asked, we were like, yeah, absolutely. We booked a ticket straight away. We've come straight here from Legoland. And now we're just, we're just wandering around London and he's acting as if it's not a big deal. He's in London. Um, our, our flight on the London Eye isn't actually for over an hour yet, so we're just going to wander around for a bit, do a little bit of sightseeing for Andy, show him some of the stuff that might convince him to do a return trip at some point. I mean, if that doesn't, I don't know what will. And then we get to go to the London Eye as well. What a, what a wonderful time to be alive. Andy, London. where are we? You're in London Eye, he's in London. We are in London, he's and where are we going? To the London Eye. We're going to the London Eye, exactly. London and where's Eye. Mummy? Here. We've lost her. But, um, there she is. We'll go home after. Yes, we'll go home after the London Eye. What have you seen? The Big Ben's not working anymore. Yeah, it's getting <laughs> fixed, isn't it? So it's up there, with some down. scaffolding around it. He abs we're going to stop, just come over to the wall then, come and stand by the wall. He absolutely loves that the, Eight, um, seven, the pelican six, crossings here five, all have a countdown four, timer on them. Three, and two, in the car on one, the way in, he was doing this constantly. And we've just had to stop so he can do it again. So, that's a cool thing. That's a reason to come back. What have you spotted? Yeah, there's not going to be any fireworks on it tonight, no. There you have it. <laughs> I think we're all a little bit disappointed that you're not crying. <laughs> why would I cry? You always I'm cry when he does something for the first yeah, time. I to get me for so <laughs> Exactly, that's why it's we're expecting exhausting. you to cry. It's been exhausting. <laughs> Oh, I'm very high stress at the moment. Yeah, Anna's on like chill. anxiety overload right now. She's terrified. He is completely undaunted by how busy it is as well. Totally focused on going up the uh, going up the London Eye. It's all he wants to do. Then we're going to go home. But we've been building up to this for years. He's watched it on the telly at New Year's Eve. He watches it on YouTube. He's always wanted to come here, but he's never wanted to come to London. Finally, something's just clicked, and he's been able to sort of separate the two in his mind. I think it, it's the seed we planted over a year ago, the last time we came to Legoland, when we drove home through the centre of London. We actually drove along that road there, and he kind of was having a little look so he knew it was on the way home from Legoland. That little, that little excursion that cost us like an extra two or three hours last year that we thought was a waste of time has led directly to this. Just buzzing. Well, we managed to completely uh, mess up our timings. We booked tickets for this for seven o'clock. It's only just six o'clock, but they were lovely and friendly. Said it doesn't matter, we can just come on. So we're coming on a little bit early, which is cool. Well, after all these years, he's on. Gratuitous B-roll about to jump into this video. Yeah. 
Andy, is it good? Yeah, we'll go home. We're going home afterwards, yes. After the London Eye. Yes, after the London Eye, we'll go home. Female train. No, no. Yeah. Look at it. There's lots of trains over there. There's a big station Can just there. What, you don't want to go on that? No, Kevin. I'll pay for you to go on there. I'm, I went I'm on generous. one of them at Christmas time and I'll never ever do it again. <laughs> oh. I'll give you £11 if no. you go on it. Give me £100. Deal. Look how high it is. <laughs> That's almost as high as we are. It's fascinating hearing what landmarks he knows about because he's just pointed the BT Tower out to us. So he's aware of that. Yet he's never been here before. Are you having a good time? <laughs> Don't read anything into him saying he wants to go home. He's just telling us what he wants to do next. He is taking all this in and he is having a good time. His eyes are everywhere. He is taking everything in. It's probably a very, very overwhelming first trip. It's very busy out there and this is like super high and seeing everything. That's the Legoland. Legoland's all the way over there, yeah. Have you seen all the trains down here? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I think the full ride on this is possibly a little bit too long for him. He's, um, he's seen everything in every direction and he's ready to get off now. Having to explain to him it's probably not a good idea to try and get off while we're still quite high. I mean, pretty high. Okay, our flight is almost over, so please make sure you take everything with you when you leave. Is that good? Yes, yeah. Yeah? Good. There you go now. We're going to go home in a minute, yeah. We're going to go and grab our pictures, I think. Anna wants to buy the uh, the overpriced souvenir photographs because it's Andy's first time. I know! Here we go! <laughs> I think it's me every time. That was awesome. Right, we need to go and find these photos. Whoa! There's an Anna there. Fancy seeing her here. I brought him in gift shop and said he could pick anything he wanted. He, he picked a drink. It's water though. More progress. She's got a whole souvenir book of our pictures. Andy, where are you? Stay over here. She's got a whole souvenir book of our pictures. Um, we'll have a proper look at it when we get home, but I'll also put the pictures on the screen now for you so you can have a look. But That's what we took downstairs. Oh, they're very cool. Andy, where are you? <laughs> awesome. Dare I ask how much you paid for that? How much do you think is too much? Anything more than £20? Pounds? 25 Oh, that's not too bad, I suppose. It's a magnet, so... Oh, awesome. It was yeah. £20 for one, or £25 for the whole booklet, magnets and both photos. That's not too bad, I suppose. Right, we are heading home now. Andy has had a very long day. We left the house about over 12 hours ago, I think, which is an enormously long day for him, without having any breaks in the middle, even when we went to, like, Disney. Yes, we had some super long days, but they were always broken up in the middle with time back at the hotel, so he is just desperate for some downtime. I think that sensory room we had at Legoland during the middle of the day was a big help towards that. I don't know that we could have done that without the sensory room. So again, thumbs up again for that for the second day in a row, but um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna head home now. It's gotta be said, at the end of a long day full of sensory overloads, this alarm that's been going on for the last 10 minutes, it's not the most welcome sound that we could have. Andy has absolutely had enough of it. But he is. Still gonna pose for pictures with Anna on demand. I won't take any more. <laughs> if you wanna see all these pictures, by the way, they're scattered around amongst my Instagram, Anna's Instagram, the family Instagram, stories, feed posts. Just head to Instagram. It's full of photos from today. I'd like the records to show that we haven't navigated Andy back where we're going to the car park. Nope. He's led the whole way. So not only did he walk us from the car park to the London Eye without needing any help, he was leading the whole way. He's now walking us back to the car as well. 
I am. <laughs> yeah, I emphasize again, he's never been here before. That demonstrates just how much time he spent on Google Earth and Google Maps learning this part of the world, looking at how all the roads link together. When we left the car park, he didn't hesitate. He just turned left because he knew that was the right direction to go in. And on the way back, he's just crossing at the right places and... Waiting at the Yeah, exactly. Because you don't. Yeah, I just... I just accidentally crossed the road when I wasn't supposed to in front of a bunch of armed police. Whoops! Anna says I need to stand here and do some political reporting because this is this is pretty much the shot they use on the telly. In fact, there's a film crew setting up there behind us. When we walked down before, there's like four film crews on here. But this is the little bit where they interview the politicians and stuff. So, uh, yeah, this is Kevin Chapman reporting for YouTube live outside the Houses of Parliament. And now we're going, we really are going home this time. We didn't show earlier either just how cool the car park we've got is. So there's all that fancy stuff and this is our car park here prepaid online seven quid for all night basically you really cut other than the fact we've had to pay the congestion charge that is a bargain well this wasn't part of the plan I've ended up in my home from home the Westfield shopping center in Stratford because we're starving we need to get some dinner we need to buy Andy some crisps and we know where stuff is here, so it'll be quick and easy. We can dive in, hit Waitrose up for some crisps, and got our pick of places to eat dinner. So there is a method to the madness, and this is on the way home as well. I challenge you to look it up, get back to Peterborough from Westminster. It does bring you <laughs> vaguely close to Stratford as you head towards the M11. So I'm not completely crazy. It's not just because I want to move here. This is so weird, it's like, two worlds colliding. This is the place where I come to so often for conventions and all sorts of football manager type things. And then Andy's here. Andy's not usually here. It's mad and awesome. I haven't been able to catch it on camera yet, but every now and again he recognises somewhere he's seen on vlogs before. Because obviously we've made so many videos around this area. We're going to go and get some food, then we're going to go home. We've been to Waitrose, got him some crisps. <laughs> We're gonna eat some food first. I mean, he has been on the go a long time. It is nearly half past eight. Go We've back. not had anything to eat for tea yet. Nothing since those fish fingers at Legoland and yesterday's vlog. Um, but we're gonna grab some food. Andy, just wait for me. I was just saying to Anna, I actually think it's really valuable just to be wandering around doing some normal stuff down here. Because it breaks that idea that London is this place that you go to do just special stuff. But he's now been to the supermarket, we're gonna have something to eat. He's seen DFS. Well, we don't know where he's seen DFS. It's over there. Uh, which is one of the places he likes to go in the lifts in, in Nottingham. So it's just normalizing everything for him, which is really helpful for getting him to come back again and again and again. Dinner consumed, coffee purchased. Anna's enjoying working on some Astro Tap. Andy, come here. Have you enjoyed your first trip to London? He is saying yes, he was just saying to me, London is finished, it's gone nine o'clock, I think, or around nine o'clock, he's very much ready to go home now. Um, I think we are going to wrap the vlog up here. I know I said I'd show you the, uh, I know I said I'd show you the London Eye stuff, but hopefully future Kev remembered to just put the pictures over the top of that clip earlier on in the vlog, because I think I just need to put the camera away at this point because quite apart from anything else, after doing two back-to-back -back vlogs, vlogs on it in one day, the battery is about to die. So, we'll say goodbye. If you have enjoyed this vlog, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Yes, it's this one. Subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs. And thank you very much for watching.